Hey what's up guys Tanmay here for Simple Snippets back with another video tutorial on operational research. So in this video tutorial we will be dealing with the travelling salesman problem and the method that we are going to use is the Hungarian method to solve this problem. So let's just see what exactly travelling salesman problem is. So just a bit of theory about travelling salesman. So consider that you have a company and you have a salesman for that company and he's supposed to travel to 5 different locations and we have to optimize the time and cost so traveling salesman problem deals with this kind of problem wherein we have to reduce the number of time or cost for that salesman to particularly travel through all those cities in the best way so that that is what we are going to do in this type of problems and as you can see on the screen we have written the steps as well as there is a table which has rows and columns and the first row is for the locations in a row format that is l1 l2 l3 and the same locations have written in the column format as well so if you find a particular cell from location 1 to location 2 you can see the value 1 that is the time or cost so that is how the format of the question would be and we'll see an example as well so let me just iterate through the steps and we'll see how to go about it when we solve the actual problem so we have to select the minimum element of a row and subtract it from each of the elements of the row and the second step would be select minimum element of column subtract it from each element of that column and the third step would be use only zeros to find the solution so we have to perform the zero assignment now if you have been watching the previous video tutorials of this playlist that is if you've seen the hungarian method for assignment problem that we did then you must be aware of what exactly zero assignment is and what exactly hungarian method is as well and if you don't know it's okay because we are going to be solving this problem right from the scratch so the fourth step would be if not possible with only zeros use the next higher value that is one along with zeros to get the optimum solution and we have to repeat the above steps with the next higher element and along with the lower element till you get the proper solution now i know the last three steps are pretty confusing but let's see the problem and you'll understand what exactly i'm talking okay so as you can see on the screen we have the question wherein a traveling salesman has to cover five different cities in his tour so the cities are named as follows a b c d e and the traveling cost is in thousands so this this time we are trying to optimize the cost so which sequence of cities minimizes this cost is what we are supposed to find so let me just write down the question values okay so as you can see on the screen i have written the values of the cost so this is into 3000 so for example for a salesman to travel from a to b the cost would be 3 that is 3000 similarly from a to c the cost would be 6000 a to D the cost should be 8000 now you must be wondering if A to B it's cost 3000 so why not it is the same from B to A that is because the salesman might take some other different route as well so that is why the values are different ok so let's see the step 1 so first we have to assign infinity for wherever the cities travel from A to A that is wherever there is A A or B B and C C we have to assign infinity values because we are not going to be dealing with those values because the salesman won't be traveling from the same city to the same city so let's just assign infinity values now we have to find out the minimum from the row so for the first row the minimum value is 2 now we have to subtract this 2 from all these values of the same row so we have 3 minus 2 that is 1 6 minus 2 4 8 minus 2 6 2 minus 2 0 Similarly for the second row we have to find the minimum value that is 3 and we have to subtract it from all these values So 7 minus 3 would give us 4 then we have 4 minus 3 would give us 1 9 minus 3 would give us 6 3 minus 3 would give us 0 Now for the third row the minimum value is 5 and let's subtract 5 from each of these and We have 4 3 0 3 Similarly I will do it for the last two rows as well Okay so I have calculated all the values for step 1 of the rows and now we have to carry out step 2 or move to step 2 and in step 2 we have to check the columns and we have to check the minimum value of the column and subtract it from all the values of that same column so all these operations are to be performed on the new table that we found so we have to keep this table as it is so let's perform step 2 so first column we have to check for the minimum value in this case it is 0 so if we subtract 0 from all these values it's going to be unchanged so we'll move ahead to the next column in this column we know the minimum value is again 0 so again when we subtract 0 from all these values the numbers are going to be unchanged but for column 3 we know there is minimum value as 1 so after subtracting 1 from each of these values we have 4 minus 1 that is 3 we have 1 minus 1 0 we have 2 minus 1 that would be 1 and 1 minus 1 would be 0 now again for this column we have the minimum value of 0 so subtracting 0 from each of these values will give us the same answer so we'll keep it as it is 
and again for the last column we have minimum value 0 so we'll keep it as it is so we've done with the first step as well as the second step now the third step is we have to find out all the places where we have 0 so let me just mark it now that we've marked all the zeros we have to find out the solution by zero assignment so the problem here is we have to assign each value once that is we know the salesman is going to travel to each city only once and he has to come back as well so that is the problem that we have to solve so we have to find out a loop so after assigning zero let's see we assign c to d so we have c to d the value is zero then from d let's see where the zero is so starting from d that is from the row d it can go to b because there is one zero over here so that would be d to b now starting from b we know it can go to c as well as e because both are zeros but in this case we have covered c already so we'll say b to e now starting from e we know it can go to a as well as c but since a is not covered we'll go to a and from a we have only one zero that is from a it can go to e but as you can see e is repeated so this is not the exact sequence that we are looking for when we assign only zero values so now what we do is we search for the next smallest value and we consider one as well so this is not exactly the answer that we are looking for so let's see another sequence and now we can consider one as well so the next minimum value is one so we can consider this as well to form the loop or form the chain so let's start from a we know from a it can go to b as well as e so since we are considering one as well we'll make it go from a to b now we have to start from b now from b it can go to c or e so we'll select c from c it can go to d so that is the only option here so we'll mark it d now from d it can go to b and e since b is already covered we'll write it e and from e it can again go to a so as you can see all the cities are covered uniquely and once and the entire chain is complete so this is our required solution now this is just the chain of locations that the salesman would travel but we still have to calculate the cost so how do we go about calculating the cost so we just have to take these two values and we have to find out the actual value that was assigned or actual cost that was assigned to the cell a comma b then we have to find out b comma c c comma d d comma e and e comma a so the cost would be equal to cell of a comma b plus b comma c plus c comma d plus d comma e and e comma a so this is what we have to find out so cell and now we have to find out looking into the original table and not the one which we solved after two steps so this is the original table over here so we have to look at a comma b we know a comma b is 3 we know b comma c that is b to c is 4 then we have c to d so c to d is 5 then we have d to e which is again 6 and lastly we have e to a which is 2 so the final total here would be 20 so the minimum cost would be equal to 20 thousand rupees since the value is in thousands so this is our final answer and this is how we go about solving the traveling salesman problem using the hungarian method so that's it for this video guys. I hope you understood the traveling salesman problem and how do we apply Hungarian method to solve and optimize the traveling salesman problem. And if you have any queries you can always put them in the comment section. And make sure you subscribe to our channel so that you get notified when we upload the next video. Peace.